אוקיי רונן, so what? Lots of genomic data, lots of non-genomic data, lots of amazing algorithms. At the end of the day, we physicians need practical tools to help us in the clinic. Where does all this meet us in our daily practice? Well, first of all, I'm sure you are aware that all the things that we have discussed are very connected or very related to medical research. And without this layer of research, one cannot expect any application in the clinics. Yes. But even more so, if we want to direct everything to the application in the clinic, we need to start talking about the concept of human variations. The main premise of personalized medicine is hinged on the assumption that variations in the genomic data, in the non-genomic data between humans, affect significantly the person's disease and health. Right. As doctors, we get variance data in the form of VCF files. Variant called format, yes. We know that these files contain all genomic variations of a patient uh, compared to the human consensus. But these files are very, very complicated. Some would say even cryptic. It's far from trivial to see how we can translate the file to an understanding of what's different about our specific patient. I know it may look complicated, but once you understand how it is constructed, it becomes very simple and very powerful. I think it will be easy to train doctors to read VCF files. Let's do that, but we also need to think about the next step, relating the variation to disease. Hmm. Each patient will have thousands of variations uh, from the consensus, from the human consensus. And there has to be a way to differentiate between changes that are benign to changes that are in some way related to disease. This is indeed more tricky. In order to explain this analysis, one needs to understand the scientific context. The big picture here is the interplay between correlation and causation. If we see empirically that people with a certain disease have a certain mutation, then we can suspect the causation between the two. This is what association studies are all about. But then again, you don't know for sure that the specific mutation is the one that caused the disease. You don't know how it caused the disease. And most importantly, you don't know how to treat the disease. Correlations, especially those that are found automatically, can be very misleading. Well, you know, Ronan, as physicians, we usually prefer to have some kind of uh, mechanistic understanding before treating patients. Do you think that these automatic machine-generated uh, correlations can in some way be a first step towards better mechanistic understanding? So far, only in a limited way. Let me explain with an analogy from the digital revolution, the famous urban legend about the connection between diapers and beer. Walmart, one of the world's largest retailers, have used machine learning and found a strong correlation between the sales of diapers and beer. Now, without a mechanistic explanation, one can infer that uh, babies that drink beer ha need to use more diapers. Interesting, or that the happy parents have beer parties every evening, but uh, not very likely, not is likely, it? Not likely, yeah. Actually, machines are still limited in the way they can come up with mechanistic explanations of such phenomena. In this case, human researchers studied the correlation and inferred that men that became young parents now actually drink less beer rather than more beer, as you suggested but they drink less in bars because now they have limited time to go out and celebrate with friends. So when they go and buy diapers on Friday nights and they agonize about their new situation, they feel like they deserve to buy a six pack of beer uh, to drink at home. Interesting. Now, uh, what Walmart uh, tried to do is to put the stand of beer near the stand of diapers in order to increase uh, serendipitous uh, purchases of uh, beers uh, by more men and in other days of the week. The result, according to the urban legend, was astonishing mm -hmm. and uh, made uh, Walmart make a fortune. This confirmed the hypothesis. Well, going back to medicine, I'm sure that 
making sense of data coming from, for example, areas of the genome of an unknown function uh, as opposed to coding regions right. or understanding uh, diseases which are not monogenic would be much more complicated. John Malt. He can give fantastic explanation on human variations as well as how doctors can treat different kinds of diseases. Yes, he will. Okay, and I'll see you next week for another Spotlight session.